bark. Another wire cut. So hope everybody's having a wonderful day, living the dream as usual, doing the best with what you have, doing what you can with what you have, pushing their dream. So I was supposed to have a contract this morning to go get a tractor mower and a regular mover and couples of uh, mechanic parts so it was supposed to be a good call i met the guy yesterday it's the contractor that gave me the master load of aluminium extruded and mixed anyway uh, i call him back this morning and he doesn't answer me so i kept my truck empty make sure if he calls but now i I wasted half of the day waiting for him, so kind of a bummer, but it doesn't matter. You know why? Because I said so! <laughs> Nothing's gonna bother me. He's gonna call me back probably sooner than i thinking. Maybe he changed idea. Who knows, but it's kind of a bummer that he didn't answer, so I left a message, I texted him. Looking for scrap. I'm in an area right now that garbage gonna be there tomorrow. It's gonna be garbage day tomorrow. So uh, I should find a couple of pieces before my son ends up the day. a lot of dumpster but here there's a lot of buildings many houses so I have like six dumpsters that are really really popular most of the time I found stuff here five cents my kid lots of hangers no nothing good I'm already seeing a coffee maker a little piece of wire doesn't seem to be there even the wire is not there another five cent Yeah, 
there's a CRT TV down there, but I'm not feeling it. Like Tenor. I didn't found that much, but I found that piece, kind of, okay, nothing special with it, there we go, a little motor, couples of wire, a bit of weight, job I hate is customer so you see I have one it gave me a lot of aluminium you already saw it in the last video I was stoked he said he has two land mover one tractor and one regular land mover so he told me could you pass tomorrow this is uh, three days ago. I said, sure, I will be there tomorrow morning before Come on, fucking garbage. So he told me, yeah, you need, uh, I would be, I told him, yeah, I'm going to be able tomorrow morning for sure. So next morning I was planning to go there. He didn't give me the address. I had his phone number, called him, didn't answer. So all yesterday, all day long, I was on standby for nothing for him. So... Yesterday, he called me back in the evening, so I was like, all right, he said, tomorrow I have a small day, blah, 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 if you can able, I will be there to even help you load it, so be ready at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I don't know if you realize it, but it's already half the day done, so I said, all right. Be sure tomorrow I'll be there. No, it's not true. He told me first at 9.30. So I text him at 9 o'clock this morning. Call him. No answer again. So I had a call back at 9.40. He said, yeah, sorry about that. I'm stuck on a job. It won't be long. Be sure, 11 o'clock, are you able? I said, yeah. But uh, I'm able, yeah. So, all right, be ready at 11 o'clock. I'll text you the address now for sure. So, all right, he never texted me the address. So, I waited waited and I'm actually still waiting right now so I lost all my afternoon yesterday 
plus all me my starting of the day today to satisfy a customer that don't want to be satisfied I really don't get it man seriously don't tell me nothing if you're expecting to tell me things like that so almost 11.30 All the garbage are already picked It's Friday So it's the worst day of the, the week to scrap for my side of view anyway I heard from other youtubers that Friday was a good day for them, but I don't understand why because people I don't know if uh, you have some garbage collection in... Uh, oh, I have a text. Bonjour! Non, j'ai pas reçu, mais là... Ouais, tu viens de me l'envoyer là, là. Ça fait deux fois que je l'envoie. Ça a l'air qu'elle continue à crosser. Je l'avais écrit, puis j'ai oublié de peser pour envoyer. Là, je viens de la réenvoyer. Ouais, ouais, trop possible, là, je m'en allais ailleurs, mais il y a pas de stress, mon gars, je t'attends, il y a pas de problème. Salut. C'est l'adresse à tantôt, papa. À tantôt. He said, there's not, st not stress, not stress, I'm waiting for you. Come on, it's not you who are waiting for me, it's me. I waited for you all freaking day long. It's 11.15. Damn, anyway, I'll try to keep a smile. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Saint Eustache is not that close. Five minute road. Well, let's go get that. Kind of sad of it because I will scrap it. I don't have any room to keep it. So. And it's impossible to sell it with that temperature. It will sell maybe in four or five months. <laughs> so, no choice. I need to scrap it. So I'll show you later what I, I'm going to go get. See you later, folks. So I didn't want to film him. He helped me put it in there. But a lot of steel. I have like two chainsaw. One van mower. This huge truck. He says that everything is in working condition. But as I said, I don't have time or place or willing to deal with those so on my way to the scrapyard losing a bit of money but making some too oh yeah forgot to check something I need some windshield washer no more expenses that most of you guys don't have to deal with but look at my windshield not able to see nothing so no choice I 
know why they do that. I always have like a quarter, to, quarter gallon. I'll take time to check my transmission oil too. It's okay. Not been long that I'm using it. quite heavy my truck is down now kind of down but a lot of drums brakes caliper I have two chainsaw I'll maybe keep those I don't know we'll see but I just missed so much place huh? I can't really deal with all that but I need that money so sorry for the one that would make like a thousand dollar with those but I will do only a hundred my guess it's better than nothing so let's go back let's go to the scrap yard damn with all those tanks gas tank in the back I have uh, the tractor the lawnmower three with eater, two chainsaw. I'm almost afraid of lighting a cigarette now. It smells really, really. I, I love that smell, but it smells really, really good. I light it up on the highway. <laughs> I won't take chance. Imagine that. <laughs> anyway, hope everybody's having a wonderful day, living the dream. Push in your wish. See you later. Hey, I, I sold another thing on eBay. I just had to pop up right now. I could I can ship it right away. It's going to Germany. <laughs> in French we say Allemagne. <laughs> it's going to Germany. Uh, not sure of the way, yes. Yeah. So I sold the uh, Casio SK1 keyboard, piano keyboard, whatever. So uh, 45 bucks plus 28.51 plus shipping. So not bad, not bad at all. But now I need to pay forward again for the shipping. I didn't even receive my last payment, so it's kind of a bummer. I have already like 78 bucks paid for shipping, so uh, it's bummed me a bit. I'm, I'm really far from rich right now. I'm actually having some new uh, financial issue. Nothing uh, major. Don't worry, guys. I don't, I'm not begging for money at all. But, I did a PayPal link. PayPal me, jackpot digger. So if you're feeling like a sending donation, feel free. The link will be down there. But I'm not begging. I'm not like in need for, my, for food or something like that, so. I, I would prefer that you give it your money to a homeless one, but if you're feeling like uh, you want to uh, push my channel a bit, one dollar, 
hundred dollar. No, I'm kidding, but uh, feel free. I'm really, really not begging for it. Oh, it pissed me a bit that the guy told me that it wasn't working condition. If I didn't know, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Destruction! And the stash is maybe, probably, the biggest flea market in Quebec. Now it's closed because of winter, but just beside the Cine Park, supposed to be a market, a flea market. I know that lots of you, or lots of my subs anyway, not gonna appreciate that move, but no choice and it's all a matter of cost and profit. So. I just can't keep it four or five months in my backyard and I don't know no one that would be able to store it like today, you know. I could I could probably make a few calls but as a scrap kingdom and a scrap vulture I always say it's uh, you can't the glitch and then uh, negligé you can't uh, talk bad of none work at all you know I just put it in my truck going to drop it at the scrap yard and just that I'm making a profit so yes I could make a better profit by waiting or selling as part but I'm not I'm not into that yet I'll try to update my eBay account maybe when I will have more listing. But now, uh, scrap, scrap, scrap. No choice. So, no throwing this as shred, even the uh, drums. Because I have more as thread, so a lot more even though it's a different scrap yard. Most of the yards that I go, that I will go uh, have two price, one for mixed steel and if you got like iron number one or HMS heavy melted shred. Whoop, there's a school bus that's going to be scrapped. So yeah, here they have one price for shred and it's really really better than everywhere else. So I don't separate them anymore. Let's go drop those. So pretty much was it. Poulain I put the battery off. So one, two, three. We deter one land over. Lots of drums. I kept the two chainsaw. Maybe I'll try then. The battery. I'm gonna put back my tailgate when I gotta have some room. So. I love those cranes, man. Awesome. They look great. Anyway, so let's go see how much we did. Uh, almost 
almost 800 pounds. So let's go get that money. And a big total of 840 pounds. Ah, the guy didn't came with his kidu this morning. I kind of find that cool that there was a guy who came work in skidoo. <coughs> so, 840 pounds. A big total of 122 bucks. Hundred twenty-two bucks. Not too bad. I know. I know. I could have put a zero at the end of that number. But I live in a four and a half apartment, and I don't have any storage. I'm working on it. Seriously. Pretty sure before the end of the year, if everything go well with my eBay shop, and I have more. Uh, listing possibilities I would gonna need a new storage a garage or something like that I'm planning of maybe 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 moving to a house a rent house I would never buy it I'm not enough secure financially to buy to get a mortgage I prefer paying rent, and if there's a problem, ring, ring, hey, owner, landlord, my toilet is blocked, come fix it up right ASAP. Hey, we need to paint. Would you pay for the paint, please? Yeah, thank you very much, sir. No, seriously, I, I'm not ready yet. To, uh, to make that big financial move of getting a mortgage. Most of people of my age who actually have a, a good work pay mortgage, but I'm not. I prefer traveling. So yeah, anyway, 122 bucks. Half the day done, it's maybe noon and a half. So I have that Casio SK1 to go ship. I, uh, it's kind of a bummer because I had to send him another message because I needed his phone number to print, to print the label. So he just sent it me it. So I'm going to go to my place, wrap it well, tape it good, and uh, and ship it as fast as I can because it's going to Germany. Hitler brother? No, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm really not saying that. <laughs> Every Germany guy is Nazi, but it's going over there, so I'll be sure to make I'll, I'll make it sure that it will it go well, pack it well, make sure there's not no complaint because I don't want a Nazi on my back. <laughs> I hope he never saw it that channel, but anyway. Let's go to my place. 15 minutes road. What are you doing there? <laughs> On the side of the highway, he's walking. Probably going to found a broken car just here. He probably lost gas or something like that. Anyway, see you later, boys. And girls. And Tranjao. And <laughs> anyway, all kind of nationality you are, no dis discrimination here. Even if you're Nazi, I'm willing to make deal with you. I'm <laughs> kidding, man. But I'm stoked. I'm shipping something to Germany today. 
kind of cool. I just like the idea that I took something in the garbage in my neighborhood and shipping, ship it to Germany. 45 bucks by the way I did, plus shipping. Scrap Vulture just wrote me a message, told me that I should always, always, always put a tracking number. I didn't sold that one with it, but if I did, it was like a hundred bucks more for the expedition partial. Not sure of the term, but so anyway. Till you die, Hey, I was just wondering something weird with the chainsaw and the winter. Have you ever saw some carving ice with chainsaw? There's some people who were just amazingly good. If I'm able to put them on before the end of the winter, I'll try to make one. <laughs> I'm not good. I'm not artistically good at all. But I'll try. <laughs> it could be fun maybe to try. Uh, leave a comment if you wish that I do that. So peace out. Chris and Ali show. This is your plane. It's coming. I didn't put any uh, Valentine's gift in it. I wanted to do it, but uh, I prefer ship it as fast as I can. And the KZO K board going to Germany. So I'm gonna go drop that Friday before the day finish. So Up in the walls just to get the wire in. Took the hot water tank and left over appliances. Aluminum satin and had to come back. Cause the furnace so big it wouldn't fit in the back. Now it's copper by the pound, wired by the inch. Got a check on the first and it's gone by the fifth. Scrap a die, nigga.